Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is JD coming to hang out with you today. Uh, this today, I'm just going to do a video about what's trending on the internet. Like I said before, I'm going to use the Alexa toolbar from now on to come up with topics. If you guys decide you want me to talk about anything, let me know. I'll do some research, put out a video about it. So today, the top four things on uh, Alexa, what's being looked up on YouTube or on the internet right now is uh, Google Drive, which I believe is new software for your phones, uh, dealing with the, all of the Google software that they have as far as, you know, um, YouTube and their search bars and things of that nature. The second thing is Jasmine Pilcard. And Jasmine Pilcard, of course, if you don't know, is the girlfriend or their ex-girlfriend of Paul Walker. Paul Walker obviously is still trending right now. He came in third. And then fourth is the hacking of over two million accounts on Google. That includes uh, Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, uh, all, all the uh, social websites. So we're going to start with number one, which is Google Drive. If you're a techie person and you like to keep up with that kind of stuff, obviously there's a lot of new software now available for your Android phone and your smartphone dealing with um, Google. So check that out. I'm not going to really get into it. It's not my thing. Um, second thing is Jasmine Pilkard made the news because she had an emotional breakdown about Paul Walker's death. Well, no shit. I mean, that's, that's kind of obvious, isn't it, people? Why is that even news? If somebody you love dies, obviously you're going to have some kind of emotional reaction to that. That doesn't mean it should be on the news. Now, if for some reason she didn't have some kind of emotional breakdown or some kind of emotional reaction, that would be news because that means she was just a gold digging bitch that wanted him for his money. But you expect something to happen after the death of a loved one. So that really shouldn't even be news or shouldn't even be searched on the internet to find out if she had an emotional breakdown. You know, it's really none of our business. That's that's her business and we need to leave her alone. You know, she's grieving just like the family and they need the privacy right now. Paul Walker, obviously number third. Everybody's still, you know, researching what happened. And the dumbest thing I've seen come out of this so far is the autopsy. Why? Why was it even necessary to have an autopsy done? We know how he died, whether he died from burning up or he died on impact. What difference does it make at this point? You know, even if he had 60 seconds to get out of the car, he was obviously pinned and couldn't get out of the car. So doing an autopsy at this point really does nothing for him, does nothing for the family. You know, it, it really does, do, it's really just a waste of time. So it was kind of a stupid thing to even do it. If it was just the average person dying in a car accident, would they have done an autopsy to find out why? No, not unless it looked like murder. You know, unless it looked like they were by themselves and somebody rigged the car. We know what happened here. It's very obvious what happened. So that was just a complete waste of time, newsreel, you know, video, everything. It was just a waste of time. You know, Paul Walker had his career, had his time. He's getting the respect and love from his friends and family and co-workers. You know, let them be at peace. Just let this guy get buried or whatever they're going to do with him and close the chapter in their lives. Stop dragging it out. The next is this uh, hacking of these email uh, passwords and usernames for Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, all of these Google attached things. You know, this, this is something where they're saying that the companies aren't at fault, that the users are at fault for allowing the software to get downloaded to their computers. You know, malware, Trojanware, all these things that are designed to infiltrate your computer, you know, they're right. There's nothing they can do about it. If you're not using a really good, you know, blocker of some kind, some kind of firewall, some kind of security suite, something to protect your computer, how are you going to blame them if your stuff gets hacked? You know, there's only so much they can do to protect themselves and to protect you. Ultimately, it's your responsibility to protect yourself. So if you're one of the people that got hacked and you've noticed something on your account, then you know, it's up to you to go ahead and fix that. Change your passwords every month. Do something to help protect yourself. Don't just expect these companies to do it for you. Get some kind of security suite. If your Norton or your McAfee is expired, 
guess what? There's a thousand other programs out there you can use that aren't as expensive to protect yourself. So don't go blaming these companies if your stuff is hacked. It's all your fault. That's that simple. Now you may disagree with me and that's fine. Um, but that's just how I feel about it. You know, I use a computer all the time, obviously. I upload videos. I do business transactions. I do everything on the computer. But I make sure that I'm using good passwords and I rotate them. That way people aren't as easily getting into my stuff or getting into my stuff as easily, however you want to say it, whatever makes sense to you, okay? So protect yourself, change your passwords, do what you need to, scan your computer once a month, make sure there's nothing on there, you know, find a good security suite. If you're with Verizon, it comes with your Verizon, you know, just use it. Um, I'm sure Xfinity's got something for theirs, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there to help protect you. So that, that's pretty much it for the top four trending things on the internet right now. Um, as far as the Google Drive goes, you know, that's something that is very, it's got a lot of stuff involved in it, so you're going to have to research it. If you want me to do a more detailed video about it, let me know. I'll do all the research and I'll put the video out. As you can see, I'm outside, but it's like 60 degrees right now in December, which makes no sense, but I'm taking advantage of it. It's got good lighting. So my video is going to come out a little better. Um, so that's it for now. And um, as always, if you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Share with your friends and family. Give me the thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.